So this is for all my vegetarian fans out there. I'm a vegetarian myself and I absolutely love this dish, but if you are a meat eater, you can always have this as a side. You can make it with fish, chicken, whatever you please. So what I have here is one whole cauliflower and four potatoes. The potatoes are sliced in four lengthways and we just deep fried them quickly. Yes, not so healthy, but trust me, it is delicious. Now this recipe is easy as one, two, three, but I don't know if it's three steps or not. We'll work that out once I finish the video. So potatoes in first, straight into your tray. Obviously no oil needed because you fried all the veggies off and cauliflower straight in. Give it a shake to get it spread around evenly. Now just one note, when you fry off your cauliflower, don't over fry it. Do it on a really high heat to get nice color around it, but you don't want it to be overcooked because it's gonna recook in the oven. You don't want it to completely collapse. So step one, step two, now step three. We got our beautiful tahini paste over here, which has a nice earthy but creamy flavor to it. And it's actually quite healthy as well. And to this, I'm going to add one lemon juice. Now chili, it goes back to how much you desire to have in your dish. Me personally, I like quite a bit of chili. So I'll add a whole heap tablespoon in there. If you're not a chili fan, a little pinch. If you don't like it, don't add it at all. Now you don't want to go too little with the salt amount that you put in there because remember this is the flavor of the whole bake because you have not seasoned your cauliflower or potato yet. That goes straight in. We need a couple of cloves of garlic, which I've got three there. I think that'll be a bit overpowering. Give that a quick smash. Doesn't have to be too fine because it will be blended in the blender. Garlic straight in. And to this, we're going to add water. So what's important about the tahini base that we're making is that it becomes very runny. Now remember, tahini paste, it thickens up very, very quickly. So sometimes people use it as a thickener in a dish. Um, so I want you to take a look straight in here. So you can tell this is quite runny. Now to this, I would also add a little bit more water to it. Now I'm going to use this just so I can get more of the flavor of that garlic out of it just to get all that goodness of the garlic. Straight in there. And blitz it up one more time. Okay, here we go. It's nice and runny. What we're gonna do now is pour this mixture straight on top of the potato and cauliflower. And it should just about cover it. Don't let any of this goodness go from the chili and the garlic that's left over in there. Now, my personal favorite to have with this dish is um, marinated fish fillet. If you get some bassa fillets, they're quite cheap. It's only around $8 a kilo, roughly. Um, and marinate it with some coriander, lemon, and garlic. Pan fry the bassa fillet once this potato bake is done, and then eat it together. It's a match made in heaven. So this is our potato bake now, coming out the oven. Now, if you take a look here, when I hold this tray, it's nice and hot. You have a little bit of a wobble, right? So it still needs a little bit of thickening, but the edges are quite set. So what I'm gonna do now is just bring this in just a little bit because you don't want those edges to burn. You're gonna test the potato, flip it over, and that's nice and soft. See how it broke easily in the center? So that's nice and soft. I think if you look here, you can see it's still a little runny. This will probably need another couple of minutes in the oven and then you're done. Now this potato bake is well and truly ready. If you take a look, there's not much of a wobble left there. It's just a very slight wobble. Something you'd want to find in a cheesecake wobble. So here we go, taste testing time. I think this is the fun part of my job because I get to eat everything I make. Scoop it straight into a plate. Like I said, if you had some nice marinated fish pan fried with it or even some chicken on the side, it'll work out wonders. This looks really hot. I'm so going to burn myself. Look at that, the cauliflower just falling apart. The potato, also nice and soft here. Let's taste this. That's pretty good, I must say. 